Hello everybody, welcome to Sean Academy. In this video, we're gonna learn how to write a shoe store business plan. My name is Sean Randall and I'll be a business advisor in this video. Now, the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna exit out of this presentation and we're gonna go straight to Grammarly.com. Now, the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a title for our business plan. So we're gonna essentially call it, we're just gonna call it, just to keep everything simple for now, we're gonna call it a shoe store business plan until we can think of a name for your store. So now the next thing we want to do here, we're going to put underneath, we're going to put um, 1.0 executive summary. Alrighty, so we're just going to, um, let me just highlight this here. Heading number two. Alrighty, now, now the next thing is, uh, we're going to write our executive summary, but before we start, we got to think of a, a name for your, your store. So we're just going to make up something on the spot. We're going to call your we're going to call your uh, shoe store Twinkle Toes. So we're going to say something like Twinkle Toes. Twinkle Toes will only sell high quality women shoes and accessories. Our selection will include everything from basic flats and sandals to trendy stilettos shoe and boots <clears throat> now we're going to say to meet the needs of our customers we will make purchases through sales agents and manufacturers in a range of sizes, colors, and styles. Styles. <clears throat> Shoes will account, will account for majority of merchandise followed by accessories alrighty so as you can see here <clears throat> we definitely made a lot of grammar grammar uh, mistakes spelling mistakes so this is the beautiful thing about grammar you just essentially you just click on whatever is, you know sometimes you're typing so fast and then you realize oh I didn't um, you know you didn't see that word that you mistyped so it's always good to have a proofreading application that can just uh Clarify some of the words that you've made a mistake on the shoes or the majority of already good. So, now as you can see here, <clears throat> our executive summary we're going to start off strong. We're going to say Twinkle Toes will only sell high quality women's shoes and accessories. Our selection will include everything from basic flats and sandals to trendy stiletto shoes and boots. <clears throat> to meet the needs of our customers, we will make purchases through sales agents and manufacturers in a range of sizes colors and styles shoes will account for the majority of merchandise followed by assess followed by accessories so basically this is you know we're just um uh explaining the name of our um our business and how we're going to go about you know structurizing everything so now to make this executive summary more juicier we're just going to add some more details so we're going to say um twinkle toes hope you guys are not laughing at that word twinkle toes it does sound kind of funny though <laughs> twinkle toes is a Twinkle Toes is, um, we're going to say, is set up as a sole proprietorship under the name. So we're just going to make up a name. We're going to call you Jamie Doe. Okay. So Twinkle Toes is set up as a sole proprietorship under the name Jamie Doe. <clears throat> then we're going to say uh, Twinkle Toe will be temporarily located at 111 Main Street in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Until, so we're gonna say, uh, Twinkle Toes will be temporarily located at 111 Main Street in Cherry Hill, New Jersey until <clears throat> it is substantial 
enough to open its own store in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. So let me just uh, fix this up here. <clears throat> so as you can see here, Twinkle Toes is set up as a sole proprietorship under the name Jamie Doe. Twinkle Toes will be temporarily located at 111 Main Street in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, until it is substantial enough to open its own stores in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. So now we're going to say um, the hours of operation will be Monday through Friday. 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. And closed on Sundays. Then we're going to say customers will be able to buy directly from our website and at VIP showcase events. <clears throat> during the holidays, during the holiday <clears throat> shopping season, there will be extended special hour hours so yeah as you can see here it's starting to look a little nicer a little more juicier um let me just kind of clean this up here <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> we're going to um let me just fix this fix this one here and we fix this one here all righty so now as you can see here the hours of operation will be monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m saturday <clears throat> 9 p.m to 9 a.m to 6 p.m saturday 9 a.m to to um, 8 p.m. and close on Sundays. <clears throat> Customers will be able to buy directly from our website and at VIP showcase events. During the holiday shopping season, there will be there will be an uh, extended special hour. So basically, we're just um explaining all the way, you know, when it will, will be available to sell our products and how customers can be able to access our products. So, you know, if we're closed on Sundays, customers will still be able to purchase from our website. And also when we start hosting showcase events, customers will be able to purchase through there. And, you know, we're, we're basically trying to explain all the ways that we could still be able to achieve profitability, even though we're just starting. We're, st we're basically bootstrapping, meaning that we don't have like a store yet. And we're trying to just, you know, start from from scratch. You know, all, all we have is shoes that we have for sale. And this is how we're going to go about trying to achieve profitability. So this is basically what you want to include in your um in your in your business plan is how you're going to try to achieve profitability, even though you're in a competitive market. And um, there's a lot of things against you that's going to make it really difficult for you to achieve profitability. So you want to be able to kind of like explain how you're going to go about doing that. So now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to, um, we're going to say, well, all designs, actually all products will be purchased in accordance with the company's mission and customer focus which includes shoes in sizes 513 and accessories to introduce or remove certain brands styles and sizes Management will rely on customer feedback, suggestions, and sales report. All right, so now we're just going to, um, let me fix this here. 
All products will be purchased in accordance with the company's mission and focus and customer's focus, which includes shoes and sizes 5 to 13 <coughs> and accessories. To include or <coughs> oh, excuse me. To include, to introduce or remove certain brands, styles, and sizes, management will rely on customers, feedback, suggestions, and sales reports. So basically we're um, explaining here what's going how the operation is going to be structured. So we're basically saying that we're still going to be focused on the, the mission statement of what, how we're going to be servicing our customers. And at the same time, we're also going to be relying on instant feedback that we receive from customers in, in order to make adjustments so that our customers can still, our customers can be satisfied and also be able to, um, you know, uh, achieve profitability. So now, now the next thing we're going to, uh, we're going to write here is, um, I'm just thinking right now, we're actually going to probably put something up the lines of, we're going to think of something of the line. So we're going to say a concept, right? So in this, this is going to be a little special business plan because we're just going to actually make some stuff up, but it's going to be where it makes sense to make it up. So we're going to say, um, the concept. So this is a whole new, uh, This is a whole new, uh, <clears throat> so what we have here, we have executive summary. All right. Now we have the concept. So we're going to say acknowledging that the demand for quality shoes in extended sizes is quite competitive using larger shoe retailers. 20 toes will reduce competition. <coughs> Excuse me. By focusing on specific niches, generally focusing on other retail stores whose prices <clears throat> are too high, lack quality, and are not shoe size efficient. All right, so the concept basically is this up so now the concept is acknowledging that the demand for quality shoes in extended sizes is quite competitive using larger shoes retailers twinkle toes will reduce competition competition by focusing on specific niche i think i spelled that wrong on specific niches generally focusing on other retail stores whose prices are too high lack quality and are not sh uh, shoe size efficient so basically um we're explaining how we're going to be able to kind of like um, separate ourselves from the, from the masses as far as how we're going to go about um, uh, selling shoes and being able to um, achieve success. So let me actually, um, let me type this up here specific. I think I hold on. will reduce competition by focusing on specific. All right. Now the next paragraph we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, twinkle toes. Success is based on three factors. We're going to say the first step is to develop high quality, high value relationship with its supplier and customers. The second key is to ensure that their products are delivered reliably and on time. The organization last, <clears throat> last key to success is dependable administration. This boutique business plan is intended to provide the framework for ensuring that the final key 
to success is realized. Alrighty, so let me uh, fix this up here. Reliably and boutique plan. Alrighty, so now as you can see here, <clears throat> we said uh, Twinkle Toe success is based on three factors. The first step is to develop a high quality high value relationship with its, with its its supplier and customers. The second key is to ensure that their products are delivered reliably and on time. The organization's last key to success is dependable administration. This boutique plan is intended to provide the framework for ensuring that the final key to success is realized. So basically we're, we're, we're establishing, we're first we're establishing um, that we're going to, that we're going to target a, a specific niche so that we could be able to um, be able to claim some of the market share and how we're going to go about doing that. And then the next thing we're, we're, we're explaining here is how we're going to be able to achieve that key to success and being able to tell um, telling the investors that, look, we're going to develop very good relationships with these suppliers <clears throat> to a point where we can probably get the price, the price low enough so that there's more profit margins to be made. And then we're going to um, we're going to be uh, ensuring that, you know, that the products are delivered on time and make sure that we have a lot of products on stock and also that um, the last success is going to be the administration that we have on board. So sometimes the key, sometimes your business success is usually based on um, your management too, you know? So if you have good management, that also increases your likelihood of financial success. So you want to actually emphasize that if you know, you know, to make your, um, your, your, your business plan look more attractive, like, you, you know, like you guys have everything set up ready to achieve um, success. So <clears throat> basically this is how you go about writing yourself a business plan. As you can see, we keep everything organized. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We keep everything organized, you know, um, and just basically being able to explain to ourselves how we're going to achieve success in starting your shoe store business. And that's basically about it. So, um, and, uh, what you guys just watched was how to, how to write a short shoe store business plan. My name is Sean Randall. Take care.